Resource Constrained Planning. Hi, I'm Bill Carmody. We would love to have unlimited resources, but in most cases, our resources are constrained. So when you're planning, it's really important to understand exactly what those constraints are. And some of them are obvious, like money or time. Like, do we have enough money for the project? Do we have enough time to utilize what we need in order to get the project done effectively? But when you're doing this, you're balancing out your plans based on knowing that your resources are not unlimited. And so you wanna say, what are gonna be the most critical aspects of the project where either time is, is a, 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 at a premium or if there's contingencies that once this person's done with their part of the project, the rest of it's going to roll through. When you're thinking about resource constraint planning, you're really trying to make sure you understand where are the bottlenecks? Where are the places inside the program where you're likely to get tripped up? Now, if you know what your resource constraints are up front, you can plan against them. The problem comes in when you're not clear on what the constraints are of the project. If you think in terms of unlimited time, unlimited budget, unlimited resources, then you're going to run into problems when you realize that's not reality. So better if you can actually try to understand ahead of time, what are all the constraints I have against my project? And then how do I actually plan against those constraints? The planning process really helps you identify, knowing full well, here are my constraints. This is the best possible plan to minimize the, the uh, negative impact with those constraints and actually maximize the effectiveness of the project by working with those constraints to actually come up with a plan that is still going to reach the outcomes that you and your team and your stakeholders are committed to having.